Bouillard's Dilena. This is why people suck. Maybe part one. But let me explain this first with a story. When I was younger, about 2009, so good time ago, I was in high school. There was this girl I really liked. And I pursued her as a middle school, high schooler, an individual. And, and she actually liked me back. Great. Uh, it took a little bit. She thought I was kind of weird, as you all probably could uh, taste. But uh, eventually she saw something in me worth liking. And so we pursued some kind of relationship. It wasn't like official thing. But something went terribly wrong. I started reading all of her mannerisms as though she disliked me and wanted to get back at me and, um, well, frankly, I thought she hated me. And so, uh, being the great, uh, however old I was, teenager I was at the time, I thought, oh, I need to have her hurt like I hurt because that's justice and that ended up working out, right? Well. That was stupid. One, don't do that. It's not good for you and your mental health and all that. Uh, but yeah, I really ended up hurting this person mentally, like emotionally as a, as a kid, and that was not good. Um, and so, yeah. But later on, as I was growing older, I had a, an epiphany as to why in the world I behaved the way I did. Uh, because when you're in the moment or when you're just emotionally stupid and you don't really know why certain things in, like engage your certain internal emotions and then why you behave certain ways, uh, when you're ignorant to that, things happen. So, I realized a lot later that I read her mannerisms not accurately at all. I in thinking that she was, you know, trying to be mean to me and trying to get back at me and try to jab me and try to all this stuff, and I was thinking that, oh, how terrible of a person she was, I realized later that good old 2009 Eric was a coward, was arrogant, was prideful, was a coward. <laughs> um, so many bad attributes of myself defined her behavior for me and then justified how to behave, how to retaliate to her behavior and, and justified how I was supposed to react um, to her hurting me. When in the end, I was probably Hitler, close enough, <laughs> okay, not Hitler, but a, t a person that was motivated by all these insecurities and dysfunctions defining how the reality that was going on around me as something that was not going on at all. And then through that, then justified how I should behave because of that. Now, I was a kid. I grew older and realized that's not good at all. And I've been working on those insecurities. And that allows me to read how people actually are behaving. And if they're behaving a different way and not like, you know, trying to jab me or whatever, and I'm not so self-conscious of my own issues, or self-conscious of how other people behave. behavior is because of me, when in reality, because she actually very much um, appreciated me somehow. I don't know what she saw, but she actually very much, I guess you could say love me. I don't know if you could say love at a such a young age, but um, she wanted me to like actually pursue her, but I was a coward, and I didn't want to uh, actually put any skin in the game because I may fail. Or something stupid so but yes like I said I grew up however people don't grow up out of that I have found out several situations in the past year I have encountered people that are so dysfunctional they not only are themselves dysfunctional but now they have families rooted in this dysfunction and it permeates far beyond themselves and it affects how other people behave around them and how they see the world and how their family sees the world and it's Disgusting. It's disgusting. So that's why people suck for one reason. It's because that they root they justify a lot of these rooted, deep-rooted insecurities defined with them and don't realize how bad it actually affects their life. And um, deflect any way that anyone's trying to speak into their life or whatnot, and it's always someone else's fault. 
Mm. So, I challenge you, good YouTuber. How are any dysfunctions defining or leading you to define certain things in your life that really are not that at all and then justifying your behavior to retaliate against those things that are not actually even real? We really are crazy. We really are crazy. Obtain to be or charge to be the better human and eradicate those eradicate those dysfunctions and um, help to help yourself by clarifying who you really are and your own insecurities and dysfunctions so that you can see clearer about who other people are and their ambitions and intentions and stuff like that. Yeah, so love y'all. Peace out. See you another life you never know video. Another video, another life you never know. I don't even remember my own tag. It's been so long. All right, bye.